Laid back Mickey here with Sylvia from Travel by Trikes. Sylvia, tell me a little bit about your, you have a channel, don't you? A YouTube channel. I do. And I have kind of a big social media presence. You can find me on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, everything by Travels by Trike. A couple years ago, I added my trailer and my truck and I keep my trike in the back of the truck and drive around looking for places to ride my trike. And people kind of got upset that I wasn't just trikey. So I changed the name to Travels by Trike, Truck and Trailer. But you can always find me Travels by Trike. Tell me a little bit about some of the things that you've been doing and then some of the things that you plan to do for 2023. You know, I've been doing this for a really long time. I'm probably one of the first adopters of trikes, particularly for touring. And this is my trike here. This is Myrtle the Turtle. This trike is 10 years old. It's a uh, HP. Nice. Velotechnic Scorpion FS20. So it's got the full suspension on all the wheels, the 20 inch wheels. And I have taken this trike all over the world. I've been on six continents in over 20 countries. Oh, behave. Hold and on. To <laughs> I know the bees. We got bees. We, we got, got bees here. Bee issues. <laughs> and, um, you know, I have probably ridden, I don't know how many miles. I've never really kept track, but at least 75,000. And wow. then now I've been... Re more recently with the truck and the trailer, I've been looking for trails to ride. Nice. And so I've been exploring all these different um, trails all over the United States. And I do little videos showing what it's like to ride these trails. And some of them are just absolutely gorgeous, like the Mickelson and the Paul Bunyan, the trail, the Hiawatha oh, yeah. in Idaho. It's oh. wonderful, wonderful trails. You know, I started to miss being out there on the road on my trike touring. And I just decided that starting in March, I'm gonna be doing an epic tour. I'm gonna to be starting from Palm Springs. I'm gonna nice. be with just my trike. You know what I got tired of is experiencing the world through a windshield. I wanted <laughs> to be out in it, experiencing it like the old days with just my trike. So I'm going back to that and I'm gonna be doing the bike route 66. Oh, nice. Which is Chicago to Santa Monica. It actually ends on the Santa Monica Pier. Oh, beautiful. And I'm gonna take it out of Palm Springs to Springfield, Missouri. Cool. I've already been in contact with the recumbent people in Springfield and gonna meet them, ride with them. And they're gonna get me on the Katy Trail, which goes all the way across Missouri. Ooh. And then from there, I gotta figure out how to get on the Gap. And then the gap goes through Pennsylvania and it connects to the CNO, which will get me into Washington, D.C. And then from Washington, D.C., I'm going to get on the Trans Am bike route. I think it's the oldest bike route in the United States. Oh, it goes wow. from Virginia to Oregon. <laughs> because I have electric assist. I'm going to be doing this with electric assist and you can't get the batteries on a plane anymore. Oh, yeah. So I just said, OK, I'll just ride back. Okay. So I'm going to cool. go to Oregon and I hope to be there in September. It's going to be the 25th anniversary of the recumbent retreat, which oh, I wow. think is the oldest. I think it's the oldest recumbent event in the United States, maybe the world. Oh, wow. And then from there, I'm going to ride down the Pacific coast to Los Angeles, make my way back to Palm Springs. It's going to be about 9,000 miles. Oh, Probably wow. eight or nine months. So are you uh, riding with people on this ride or or how do you meet up with people along the way or do you just go on your own? I hope to meet a lot of people on this ride. I hope yeah. to generate a lot of enthusiasm and excitement and people can ride with me for a day, a couple of days. Um, I'm hoping to meet up with bike groups, bike clubs, you know, and okay. the, the entire the entire way. But mostly I'm going to be riding alone. I, I always ride alone. So you started to do the uh, trailer and the truck with your trike. And that's how you're going to be traveling around, you know, with your trike. No. Or this is all just trike. This is so. Yeah, I'm leaving this in Palm Springs. I've got a friend that's going to let me keep it. Um, at her place. Wow. And uh, so it's just going to be me and the trike. And so like the old days, like the old days. Yeah. And so how do you how do you are you bringing like camping gear? Are you finding camping sites? How do you do this? Yes. Um, out of the United States, hotels are very inexpensive. It's 
easy to find a place, a hotel in the center of town that's comfortable, 25, 30 bucks a night. That's oh, wow. impossible in the U.S. <laughs> and, you know, it's a real budget buster. You have yeah. to expect at least $100. I mean, $100 is cheap. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to have to camp as much as I can. Um, but the weather in the U.S. is pretty bad, too. So I know I'm going to be forced into hotels just for safety. Yeah. So I'll have to keep that in my budget that I'm going to you know, there's going to be times where I'm just going to have to be in a hotel. You know? And so you've uh, you've done this before. And so you've you've camped before. So how is it w when you arrive to these campsites? Are people like amazed? Like, hey, this what are you doing camping here with this trike? And tell me more about about yes. what's going on. Yes. In fact, you know, there's something about the trike and maybe because I'm an older woman riding a trike, but people older, are... older, you mean like in your late 20s, early 30s? Exactly. OK, absolutely. Yeah. And people get like they're. They, you know, they want to ask you questions. Yeah. Uh, my last big tour with just my trike was in Colombia in South America. And I will bet my picture was taken 20,000 times oh, wow. uh, throughout that. And so people are really interested and, you know, they want to know. And sometimes, you know, I can be talking to somebody and they'll be like, well, why don't you just camp here? You know, I got space right here by my my camper. Yeah, just yeah. next thing I know, I've got a glass of wine in my hand. They're like, That's nice. hey, we're, yeah, we're like making something for dinner. Come on in, oh. you know, and that happens a lot. Oh, yeah. Wow. People are really friendly. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Have you ever met like anybody else doing what you do? Like where they're going out with their trikes and traveling around the world? Or are you s trying to set a new trend? Like saying, hey, you know, as, as you get older, you don't have to be on the couch for the rest of your life. You can actually right. go live life. You know, are you seeing other trikers starting to do this or are you kind of setting a new trend? You know, there are some there are some trikers. Um, I think everybody probably knows Matt Galat, and he traveled through Asia for many, many years. Yeah. I think he's kind of moved into van life now. And then there was a woman I've actually toured with. Her name is Catherine Mossbrook Zimmerman, oh. and she's older than I am, and she would travel all over the world. Um, and she is ex and a real adventurer. Like, I have to know where I'm stopping every night. I have to have a plan for the end of the day so I know I'm safe. She doesn't. She just rides until she doesn't feel like riding anymore. And then she just sets up her tent wherever she is. And wow. uh, yeah, re real wow. adventurer. So wow. there are some other people. Uh, not many. <laughs> not not many. Tell me a little about it. This is what, a question that I get asked all the time. Uh, people go, is it safe riding like on these like roads in the middle of nowhere? How do you stay safe? What do you need to look out for? Like if somebody else want to go, no, I want, I've always wanted to like travel and, and, and ride like yeah. a couple hundred miles of camp. You know, how do you stay safe on the roads? And, and what are some of the things that, you know, people should think about? Right. It's a really good question. And there are a lot of resources that people can turn to. I am a big fan of using the Adventure Cycling Maps. Mm. Um, it's a company out of Missoula, Montana, and they have bike maps for routes all over the United States. I think they have 70,000 miles mm. of bike routes. And so those are bona fide. Now you're still going to be on the road. There's is there is no bike path. People always talk about like I'm going to I'm going to take this bike path across the United States yeah. and I'm not going to be on the road and I there is no such thing. Yeah. So if you want to do touring, you have to be comfortable road riding. But if you choose a route that is designed for biking and a lot of people are biking yeah. on it. You know, yeah. people are expecting bikes yeah. and you're going to have all the services for oh. biking and these maps that Adventure Cycling does, um, they have all the resources that a cyclist could need. The grocery store, the library, laundry, <laughs> they have the bike shops, camping, you know, really anything, um, anything you could possibly need. And I, I highly recommend those. So you're going to be um, on your channel. You're going to be going over like how to the lifestyle, yes. how how you do it, where you're yes. at. And so maybe people are going to get inspired to, to get their trikes and to go out I and so. be more adventurous. Yeah. You know, I'm I'm going to be 64 when I start this tour. I'm going to be pretty much doing it on my own. I'm riding a 10 year old trike. <laughs> I am going to be doing it with electric assist so people can see what that's like as well. Um, but before the tour, I'm going to be talking about 
the route that mm. I'm going to be taking, all the gear, electronics. Mm. You know, I'm really, I love my camera gear. So I'm going to explain how, how I carry it, how I'm going to be using it. I'm going to talk about food. You know, the food that uh, the diet that I'm yeah. going to have and how do I keep my food fresh and, um, you know, all the camping gear and all the things that I need yeah. uh, for this tour. So, yeah, expect expect a lot of t content. OK, I'll, I'll be watching this channel because this, <laughs> you know, because these are the things that I've always wanted to do. You know, I want to take my wife out and go on a little trip and then. Uh, you know, what do we take? What, you know, what do, yeah. That's right. And I haven't, I haven't even thought about the food, right. You right. know, on top of the camping gear, right. you know, you, you can't bring a dozen eggs probably. You can. You can? Yes, you can. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. I plan on bringing hard boiled eggs. <laughs> okay. I'll cook them up in camp. Okay. You so, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so if you want to learn more about travels by trike and Sylvia traveling the world, traveling the U S on her trike. And what's your trike's name? This is Myrtle the Turtle. Myrtle the Turtle. More recently known as Moto Myrtle. <laughs> so if you want to learn more, go to uh, Travels by Trike on YouTube. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, everywhere. Everywhere. A lot of content. A lot of stuff. Okay. Laid back Mickey out. Peace. <laughs>